Hi, this is Mark Laughlin with RaggedyEdge.net. Um, we spent uh, a number of years as a family uh, sailing and living aboard sailboats. And um, from everything from uh, our first boat was an O'Day 32 center cockpit to uh, a uh, spin, drift, spin Drift 44 pilot house to a Pearson 367 junk rig boat. Uh, and probably the boat that we spent the most time on was an Aquarius 23, which we sailed on the lakes throughout Wyoming. And it was on this Aquarius 23 that we experienced some of our most uh, exciting uh, weather conditions. Uh, with the high mountain elevation and the mountains nearby, we often experienced uh, storms that were kind of driven by the catabatic winds, where the winds come rushing down off the mountainside. And you could go from a day where uh, you're up with all the sails up and barely ghosting along, and with like a light switch, uh, you'd be having uh, 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. Um, and we've got uh, a lot of exciting stories based on that. But on this uh, video here, I want to talk about something that we came across that I call weather vane anchoring. That is anchoring from the stern. Well, basically, our stern anchoring was based upon uh, a document by the U.S. Coast Guard on the Jordan Series Drogue. And uh, over the years, we've built uh, several, I think three of these Jordan Series Drogues. It's a pretty labor-intensive thing to build. Um, but uh, based on U.S. Coast Guard studies, it's an ideal way to protect your sailboat in very foul weather offshore. Uh, you can deploy it and basically go down below. And, it, and it, it, the drogue is deployed off the stern of the boat and it uses a bridle, and uh, kind of like uh, a bridle, kind of like this. This little blue line there, a bridle that goes into the drogue which is a single line with all the cones on it. These little small, about six inch cones. And um, and within the anyway within this uh, U.S. Coast Guard document, and I'll include a link down in the description on the Jordan Series drug, uh, there was some mention of uh, anchoring uh, using this this stern uh, bridle. And by the way, they um, typically you would want to mount uh, bronze plates. I guess maybe stainless steel would be okay, but bronze is what we always use. Bronze plates on the outside of your hull, and uh, like a big strap plate. And on the end, you'd have a place for the uh, to uh, attach your your series drug or to attach your bridle. And uh, and what we found uh, is that was a very effective way to anchor. Uh, and and do very well in severe weather. Now, one thing which you run into with the sailboat, because the way uh, the way the center of uh, effort is about uh, right in here, and uh, so you got all this windage forward of your center of effort. So a sailboat that's anchored from the bow is gonna gonna. It's, it'll start off like you know anchors out that way and then it will the wind will catch on the mast and rigging and pull it over this way and it's bouncing like this jerking on the your whole anchorage system and then it comes back across and then goes the other direction so it's just boom 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 and then whoo boom 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 now uh, on our Aquarius 23 we did uh, and on uh, some of our other boats we used a a riding sail which would be kind of like a, a sail that runs from oh about midway up your mast down to the stern so it would create a little bit of a weather vane effect to help counteract all this forward windage and uh, that does improve it uh, quite a bit but it still would come over a little bit and then that that riding cell would catch and you hear a big racket as it snapped into place and then pulled the boat back and then it would go over the other way and then this riding cell would snap and it was, it was still a pretty jerky motion back and forth. It was still quite a bit of um, snapping and jerking on your anchor road. So anyway, one time we were, uh, well, several times, but one time in particular we were uh, at uh, Lake DeSmit in uh, near Buffalo, Wyoming. Uh, with our Aquarius 23 and we often spent you know several days if not even a week at a time out on the lake here and uh, almost every afternoon you'd get that thunderstorm come through and uh, one time uh, we got a really good one really strong winds and uh, so just to experiment we started anchored off the bow now I had the line set up so that it was already hooked up to our stern bridle and um, 
So all I had to do is undo that and then it would switch around off to the stern. Now just like as you would expect, it would, our boat was, even with the riding cell, was doing this, I mean it was violent and very loud, a lot of uh, uh, energy running through our anchor, anchoring, uh, anchoring system. When I let that loose and the boat came around onto its stern bridle, the, uh, it cinched down and just stayed steady. There was no more snapping, snatching on your anchor, anchor road and it just it was a steady consistent pull on the anchor it didn't let off and, and snap one side and then come and snap the other it just boom and it was just the anchor road stayed taut and the boat stayed steady now we did catch you know the the waves that were building from a pretty long uh, about a mile and a mile fetch uh, were hitting the stern and slapping the stern and even though this the Aquarius 23 with the uh, with its engine well cut out uh, it's kind of open in the stern we didn't really take any water on board but I could see that if it got really really rough you might take you know ship some water into your cockpit so you'd want uh, as they note in the uh, US Coast Guard Jordan series drug document you'd want to definitely have a, a very sturdy or reinforced um, uh, companion way hatch hatches so um, anyway I highly recommend uh, looking and experimenting with one getting the Jordan series drug for if you're an offshore sailor and uh, and hooking up those you know big heavy 3 8 inch thick bronze chain plates on the side to attach it to and then try also to make you know kind of a double you know make extra use of those chain plates try anchoring from them I think you'll be stunned at how much better it is now there is one situation in which um, it's maybe not as as, as an you may, you maybe want to anchor from the bow and that's if you're in a tidal area and the tide is running contrary to the um, to the wind and so then you get I mean that's that's a problem even when anchored from the bow you can get that whole uh, where the boats pointing one way and the tides moving another and it's it's really uh, uh, kind of unpleasant but uh, uh, in that situation I think maybe anchoring off the bow is a little bit better try to take advantage of the uh, underside let the, the tide move across the hull and let that more or less be the primary factor generally in uh, determining where the boat you know where it positions itself so it positions itself in in relationship to the to the direction of the wa water's movement and uh, you then to take the wind more on the side so it's going to heal you over a little bit and maybe be a little bit uh, a little bit uncomfortable for some people it's not too bad but uh, in that case but anchoring on the stern it's kind of in that situation it just with the water flowing across the opposite direction that doesn't work really good for the hull but anyway for anchoring in non-tidal waters in rough conditions I highly recommend trying wind vane anchoring check out the Jordan series drogue check out the article on it there's just uh, there's like one guy that did some experiments with the using those chain plates for stern anchoring and he became a fan of it and when I read of it and tried it I immediately became a fan of it too uh, I would like to do a lot more testing I've done some little bit of um, I wish I'd had like a drone footage of that time we were in Aquarius 23 that would have been really spectacular to have an overhead video of our boat when it was anchored from the bow and it was just you know sailing at anchor and just really snatching on the your anchor anchor gear and then how how much just how steady it became when we switched to the stern and it just snugged right up and everything just became so so pleasant uh i was i think that day it, that particular storm ended up blowing about 55 60 miles an hour and uh I, we were totally comfortable on our little boat and the advantage of course that little Aquarius is we were kind of fearless i mean if if the anchor let go or something and we went up on the beach we that little boat could handle it. I mean, all I had to do is pull the rudder up and we'd be, have no problems. But um, 
Uh, I would like to do some more uh, research on this and um, maybe some more demonstration, you know, get some, get that aerial footage would be really cool if we could get a, a small boat and do the aerial footage of anchoring from the bow, anchoring from the stern. Um, we did some footage on our Pearson 367 and I'll roll that in here, but, uh, and it was in a very calm anchorage, but you could see our boat compared to a boat nearby where we were cinched down with our stern lines. And even though the breeze was only blowing like, I don't know, six or seven miles an hour, it was barely enough to, to snug us down. The boat off in the distance you can see is, is swinging and even at a low, you know, only six or seven miles an hour of wind breeze, it was still sailing back and forth at anchor, just back and forth, whereas we were steady and con consistently painting, pointing in the same direction. And so anyway, it would be really cool. I'd love to do, uh, uh, or somebody else, you know, ha encourage someone else to do it, but uh, I'd love to do some uh, more detailed video footage on this. You know, if the uh, U.S. Coast Guard would like to sponsor it, or U.S. government, uh, some kind of marine services, some maybe uh, 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 one of the anchor anchor uh, manufacturers. Uh, we used uh, Mantis anchors on our um, Pearson 367 and really enjoyed those and appreciated those. But we've also used uh, Delta plows and uh, and a CQR and. Uh, you know, a, quite a, a number of different brands of anchor. I think probably, uh, to be clear, I think our favorite anchors were the Mantis. Um, but I uh, would really like to do some uh, additional demonstration and testing on this if we can find a sponsor for it. Uh, or if someone else is just, you know, looks into, takes the information here I've got, look at the US, US Coast Guard document, and and do this on your own uh, someone who's currently sailing out there maybe already got a, a you know quadcopter to do the overhead aerial footage had to be a pretty good quadcopter pilot to do that kind of flying in adverse conditions uh, fortunately my son is a he flies a uh, uh, stunt and uh, racing quadcopters so he's perfectly capable of flying in very adverse conditions and doing that video footage if we were to you know have that opportunity to put this all together so anyway, this is Mark Laughlin uh, with RaggedyEdge.net. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Look for details down in the description.